Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about parallel period function and also learn about the difference between same period and parallel period functions. The difference between same period and parallel period functions is the most commonly used interview questions. So in today's video, we are going to get so in today's video, we are going to get all the information about these two functions. So without any delay, let's get started. If you look at my screen, this is a sample COVID-19 report and I have few uh, data sets already created on my right. Um, so the main data sets here are calendar and COVID. So this COVID data set, it has all the COVID numbers uh, like number of COVID cases and uh, in the previous video we have created uh, certain measures here as well so so in this video we will be looking at parallel period function how to use the parallel period function to get the details of previous year and compare it with this year's or this month's data video this exercise is basically divided into two parts in the first part we learn how to create um, how to compare this year's data or this month's data with previous month's data and the second part would be the difference between sample uh, the difference between same period and parallel period functions so let's begin the first part now so for the first part um, my requirement is to compare this month's data with previous month's data so for that i'll be creating um, one measure here and my measure's name would be parallel last month okay so here in this measure we are calculating the data so obviously we'll start with calculate function and i'm calculating total covid cases so sum of covid cases that's my first parameter okay and the second parameter would be so second parameter would be to use parallel function okay parallel period function so parallel period function we will pass the date as the first parameter to parallel period function and i want to um, so in this parallel period function i want to go back one month i'm going back one month so minus one and i'm going back month so it would be month here and that's all this is a very straightforward function i'm just saying okay and let's bring in uh, now let's bring in the table here um in this table i'll before that i'll start with a filter i'll uh, create an ear filter here and i'll make it the list okay and now in this table i'll be getting in the year i'm selecting 2021 to just see the data for 2021 months and here um that's and in this table i'm selecting month and total number of covid cases and parallel lm which is last month's data so if you look at this data this is giving me the right results so this this data would be the uh, last month's data that would be for 2020 december okay so just let's just ignore this value for now so um here if you look at this for 2021 jan data is 717000 and um parallel lm measures data for feb is 717 uh, 717061957 which exactly matches the january covid cases right and if you look at feb data it, ma it matches with parallel uh, last month's data for uh, march so this is this is what we want to see so i'm getting parallel data for last month right this is this is how you use parallel period function this is the first part of our exercise and the second part would be get the uh, difference you know the difference between same period and parallel period functions so to understand that let's first create another function 
with uh, which uses parallel period and that would be parallel period last year okay so to get the parallel period last year function i'm going to mimic this uh, parallel period last month um just create one more measure here and i'll paste this and just change this to last year and the parameter for parallel period would be year instead of month because I'm, i want to get the data for previous year parallel period last year right so uh, my parallel period last year is also ready now i'm going to bring in the table again new table here and i'll do the same thing that i did for the first one i'll bring in month total number of covid cases and this time i'll bring in parallel period last year's data and if you look here parallel period last year's data the values are all same they, they are not different for each month and this is an error because if you consider the parallel year for 2021 it would be the parallel period the parallel year would be 2020 not the individual months of the entire year right so that is why parallel period function is giving you the results for the complete 2020 year it's not dividing month wise so that is the um, main uh, difference or disadvantage of parallel period function it's not the disadvantage it's actually the functionality of parallel period function it is considering the entire year that's what that's what the parallel period mean right for 2021 the parallel period is 2020 for jan month parallel period in, in the previous year would be jan 2020 so it's doing the right thing but this is not what we want to see so if you so now let's use same period function and see what the results are i already have the same period last year function defined if you don't know how to create this please visit the uh, last video uh, which is on same period function there you will see the uh, there you will see how we created this measure so now um, i'm going to create one more table and bring in month total number of covid cases and this time i'm getting same period last year measure okay so now i'm getting the right result so if you see the total total count here it's the same here 16996154050 and this and this total matches right so the same period last year function it's giving me the right counts it's dividing the data month wise that is what we want to see because same period last year that means if you want if you're looking for jan 2021 same period last year is jan 2020 so that's the functionality of same period last year so now i think you uh, you got the difference between parallel period and same period function um so overall uh, as a conclusion you could say when you have complete years data when you're comparing two years and you have complete data for both the years then you could use any of the function you could use parallel period or you could use same period functions but in case you have complete data in one year but partial data in one year then it is always better to use same period last year function which gives you the right results i hope this is clear now I hope this is clear now. I am also attaching this file in the description box below and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. I will try to answer all of them. See you in the next video. Thank you.